Okay, this battery's about to die and I have to leave soon, so let's make this quick. Hello humans. So when I was thinking about what to do for this video, I didn't have any ideas, and then I was like, what do you do when you don't have any ideas? Nothing. What do you do when you aren't filming? You live your life. So I'm making a video about living my life. I have sometimes realized that I have so much exciting stuff happening in my life and I just never talk about it. And so I was like, I wonder how many exciting things happen to me in a week that I don't talk about. So I vlogged the week and this is a compilation of all the exciting things. The first exciting or memorable thing that's happened this week, week is I actually got my eyebrows done for the first time. And you probably can't tell because when I wear glasses, my eyebrows kind of disappear. But, um, you know, you might be able to see there. I got them waxed, got them shaped. So, very fancy, very good, very on fleek. I actually really like them. I'm gonna do it all the time now. Once a month is like when they recommend you do it. The next super exciting thing that happened to me this week was I actually went to a semi-formal. Now because I'm not actually at school anymore, I don't get a semi-formal of my own. Um, so I went to this friend of mine, his semi-formal, I went as his date, and it was really fun. One of my best friends, Georgia, came over and helped me to get ready, and we had a good old time, her doing my hair and my makeup, and I looked okay in the end, I think. So then Georgia arrived. Say hi, Georgia. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm sitting on the bench. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Sorry. I shot. Look, by some miracle you're finishing work, you would want to bring me a curl, but that's alright. Yay! We put our makeup and it didn't yeah. die. And the night really highlighted to me how uncoordinated and terrible at dancing I am. I don't, I, I honestly do not have words for how terrible I am, which is why I filmed it. I was wearing heels and I carrying a clutch the whole time so that kind of limited my body movement but still but still dancing not my thing the next exciting thing that happened to me this week is I bought tickets to New Empire's last concert on the day that New Empire announced that they're breaking up they also announced that they are doing one last tour which is happening in October they're coming down they're doing just Australia because they're an Australian band and me and one of my best friends Amanda are huge fans she's kind of like my partner in crime when it comes to this so we decided that we were going to go her brother's coming as well and i bought tickets on friday and it was really emotional and i was kind of just like it was very bittersweet <laughs> all right it's 10 o'clock let's go and then there was like this timer that told me i only had 19 minutes left to complete my order and so i started freaking out because i don't like timers Pressure is not my thing. Not my thing, radio. But it ended up okay. We got the tickets. I had a dance party with my dog and that was all good. That same day I was left home alone for a period of time, which is always a very good idea. And we actually just recently got this home automation system called Alexa, which is kind of like Amazon's version of Siri. And so... Alexa and I had a great jam to Ed Sheeran. Alexa, shuffle Ed Sheeran. Here are the most popular songs by Ed Sheeran from Prime Music. Three words have two meanings. There's one thing on my mind. So for you, mm -hmm. I just want to know this 
And then I decided that just dancing around my pyjamas wasn't enough, so I needed to go and put more pyjamas, and then cook pasta, and then also jam to Ed Sheeran. Love will scar your makeup, lipsticks to me, so I'll never be that bad. Wishing I was somebody. Let me just say, that was some of the best pasta I've ever had in my life. The next day, Saturday, I went to a party for one of my friends. His name is Ben. It was his 16th. We went to this playground because that's what, you know, mature teenage kids do for a 16th birthday party. You go to a playground and have a party. That Ella doesn't know. Welcome. Thank you. That's right. No, don't jump. I'm just chilling out now. Hi. Chilling out on the thing. Of the thing. Of the thing. I think I've got a cramp. Oh no! I'm just having a great time, man. Can you tell? <laughs> and the last exciting thing that happened to me this week is I went to another party on Sunday after church. And this was the 19th and it wasn't that much more mature than the 16th I went to, which I think is really funny. Um, I don't think I was the youngest there, which often happens when I go to parties because I know a lot of people that are older than me. It's entirely possible I was the youngest there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It was barbecue, so we had burgers, and there were like three different flavors of chips, and we literally spent like 20 minutes per bowl trying to guess the flavor, because who would guess Thai spices or camembert for chip flavors? Okay. <laughs> yeah! Uh, time to party. So all in all, I had a really great week and I enjoyed filming things. So that's it for this video. The battery on the camera is about to die, so I'm going to wrap this up super quick. As always, all my social media links are down below in the description box. I've been doing a bunch of art stuff on Society6 recently, so check that out. Also, I'm tweeting a lot because Twitter isn't blocked at TAFE. And I'm kind of trying to start hashtag overheard design school trending, which is where I tweet things that I hear people say in my class. They are hilarious. I just enjoy doing that a lot. I wonder if that's a breach of privacy. I should probably look into that. As always, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if you're not, I hope it gets better. I love you all, and goodbye. It's come to the point in my life where I'm tempted to wear blankets as clothing items. If you just pin two corners together and then kind of just slip it on like this, you kind of get a little poncho thing. And I almost wore this to take this morning, except it was cold, and I decided that I wanted a jumper instead of a blanket. This is where I am with my life. This has holes in it, and I was going to wear it out of the house. Like, I'm sorry, Mom, but um, sometimes you just gotta look like the broke uni student you are.